Hey guys, it's me, Sean, not the sheep, and today I wanted to show you um, one of the first projects I completed for my Intro to Computation class. Um, intro to Computation is a class for students who are interested in concentrating in um, this relatively new concentration at RISD called Computation, Technology, and Culture. So there's a lot of um, classes revolving programming and designing with code and everything that's um, computation, technology, and culture related subjects. Um, yeah, so um, over the first few um, half, half, over the first half of the of my Intro to Computation course, uh, we basically learned the basics of um, using the software processing, which is a Java, which runs on the Java coding language, programming language. Um, I know a little bit about processing from freshman year, but it's been a while, so it's a nice refresher. Um, so we did a lot, we learned a lot of like coding, object-oriented coding, so making really cool patterns, making things um, interactive, making things like key-sensitive and mouse interactive things and so for my final for my midterm um, I we had to design our own code um, it can really be anything we want um, so it can really be anything we want um, so I came up with this code that that generated um, this code I'm gonna show you this is this code that generates um, an equation with two cosine waves and the, the code will uh, generate random numbers so every time we run the code we create these really cool wave um, patterns so and if I run it again it will show up something different Ooh. Yeah, so I was able to generate some really interesting uh, patterns from using my code. And so I thought, you know, I wasn't really sure at first what to do with that. But I thought the little circles would look really nice if they were sort of like engraved or cut um, as like an analog um, product. And so I, I did some tests on the laser cutter and this is what it came out as. These really tiny holes. Um, on a paper that were sort of interesting, kind of like galaxy star-ish looking. And so I thought it'd be interesting to sort of create a light installation with like multiples of these. Um, but I decided not to go with that because, you know, it just wasn't very... I don't know, I just thought that was kind of dumb. Um, so I decided to, instead of doing that, sort of uh, laser cutting a bunch of these as sort of these artifacts and more like product based um, product. Um, so in the end, I came up with um, this box of box of cards. Um, so yeah, the packaging was using the um, initial laser cut it um, pattern, um, and so when you open it, you have this beautiful black box, black card holder, not really a box, and when you open it, um, these fancy velcros that keep them closed, um, you have these, the set of cards, these artifacts that, you know, at first glance they're like really boring, they're just black cards, but when you, but when you take them and you shine them, you shine them through, like, here, oh, let me show you something. Like here, you see these really beautiful patterns that are like beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are just some of the patterns that were um, easier to laser cut because the circles are so dense. If um, they get any denser, then the paper would just fall apart. Oh, but this one was one of my favorites. Um, this one's interesting too. Yeah, 
yeah so oh as you can see like there's like these slits in the corners so initially I wanted to sort of stick with that light installation idea um, so initially I wanted to um, still have sort of, sort of element of like light involved because these little circles will look really cool when their shadows are casted on like a ceiling or something so with these slits um, initially I had four tabs um, so that these slits would fit in them and the slits would fit in them like that <laughs> will fit in them like something like that I'm not like that and you can put your phone and use the phone's flashlight to sort of shine it and use it as some sort of like nightstand or just like a fun like light projection lo-fi fun tool product thing um yeah but um i didn't have enough time to put enough consideration to make that look appealing because when i did do that it looks kind of really sloppy and not so um good looking so i scrapped that idea and just focused on trying to make this really neat and um really like artifacty. yeah so that's it for <laughs> my first project i know it's not very interesting um but I think it's gonna be hard this semester because a lot of my classes aren't that interesting in terms like compared to last semester I had a lot of um, I had design principles which allowed us to do a lot of like really different things that involve like physical like process and like physical like design and everything but this semester it's very computer based um, I'm taking this other class um, UI UX design class that focuses on designing like user interface like web app design so everything's in the computer um, I'm also taking another computer science class at Brown which is also coding and really boring to look at so hopefully you know there's some more interesting projects in the future hopefully um, that I can show you but yeah <laughs> I think that's it bye <laughs>